Today we're going to learn how to do these animations with a mat node. So let's do it. Let's do the camera, the light, go to geometry node. Let's close this and this panel. Let's create a new profile. And we are going to use a line. So let's delete this, shift A, curve line. Let's connect it here. And we are going to make it, for example, minus two, two positive and zero. So we have a straight line. Okay. Now, I want to add more points in this line because I want to make an animation like that, like a sine wave. So we need more points. So let's add resample curve. And now this line has 10 points. Perfect. Now, we want to move this. We want to displace this point. So we need to add set position. And here we can play with the position of the three axes. For example, what we can do is to add a noise texture. And now all the points of the curve is being displaced with the noise texture. And if you want, you can add more points to have different patterns. But we don't want to play with that. We want to have a perfect sine wave, an animated. So to do this, we are going to use a math node and select sine here. And now connect it in offset. And now we have this, everything it has been displaced. And to see how it works, we need to click here and move this. And basically, what it's doing is assign movement. So it's going up and down in the three axes. If you notice, it's going in the three axes. But we don't want that. We want to use, for example, only Z axis. So I'm going to select x and i won't go up so let's isolate with combine three axes and select z so now it's only using z axis perfect so this math node sign is basically doing a sign movement so going up and down up and down up and down all the time look i'm going to start with zero and if i click and i drag this it's going up in positive one and then in negative one. Up and down, up and down, up and down. So if you want to make animation repeating this movement, you can use this. Okay, but now I want to move all the points with a wave sign. So to do this, what we have to do is to use position. So now it's using the information of the points. However, if we connect position, we lose the control. So we need to add another math node to animate this. So let's add math node. And now here we can animate this wave. As you can see, all the points are being displaced with the sine wave. If you have these points, you will notice that we lose the curve. Now we have one two, three, four. But if you add more, it's being more perfect. Okay, now how we can play with the amplitude and with the length. If you want to change the amplitude, you need to add after the sign, another math node and multiply. So let's make a copy of that and let's select multiply. And now this, this is going to be the amplitude. Remember, before was maximum 1 and minus 1. And now, if we change this, we are changing the amplitude. So now, as you can see, the amplitude has been increased. So just remember that a multiply after sign is the amplitude of the wave. Okay, we have the amplitude. We can play with this one to make it shorter or bigger. Now, what I can make to play with the length? So I can make something like this. To play with the length, what we have to do is before sign add another multiply. So let's add math and select multiply. And this one will be the length. So now, if we increase this, you will notice let me decrease the amplitude. 
So if we click here, you will see that we are changing the waveform. So now we are playing with the length. And if you want to increase this, the only thing we have to do is to increase this value. We can make it like this, or we can make it like that. By the way, if you want to increase the line, what we can do is come back here and let's add, for example, minus 7 and 7. So now here you can see better this sine wave. If you see these little peaks really sharp, then we need to add more points to make it smoother. And now if you want, you can animate this. Just adding here a same time with seconds. And if we press spacebar, we have this sine wave animated. If you want to animate it in the other direction, then just add a math node and multiply it by minus one to invert the direction. And now I can play with this to make it like that, or make it like this. Less amplitude, more amplitude. And if you want, what we can do is to convert this curve to mesh. And Select, for example, a circle curve. And let's decrease this. Something like that. And we have this animation. By the way, if you want, you have the opposite of sine that is cosine. It's the same, but in the other direction in the other axis. So if you know this one, you know how this one works. Maybe you're wondering, okay, that's cool, but what if I don't want to create this sine wave? So I can use this node. For example, I'm going to show you other examples. What we can do is to delete this and convert this line to points with instance on points. And add, for example, U spheres. Let's decrease this, something like 0 0.1, and let's decrease the number of UV spheres. Let's decrease the velocity, for example, minus 0 0.5. Actually, it looks like they are moving, but they are not moving. It's only objects going up and down. Look, I'm going to decrease the number of points so you can see better. Do you see now? It's just going up and down. But if we add a lot of points, looks like all of them are moving in this direction. But they are not moving. So, for example, if you want to make an object go up and down, let's delete this line and just add an object, for example, a point. And now we are converting this point in a UV sphere. So with the sine node, we can play with the amplitude. So the height, we can make it more up and down. Or I can make it faster. If you know this is the length, also this is the velocity. So if I decrease this, it's going really slow. But if I want this go up and down really fast, then I need to increase the length of the wave. So this is another example how to use sign note. Also, what you can do instead of animating a line like before, we can do it with a plane, with a grid. So let's do this and select grid. I'm going to delete this and let's make it bigger and add more vertices. So now we can see that we have this animation. First of all, let me decrease the amplitude. And Y is going in this direction if we are using Z. 
This is because here we need also to isolate the axis. So let's use separate axis. And for example, let's use, you can play with them, the X, the Y, and Z. But here I recommend you to use X and animate the Z. So we have this animation. Okay, now it's really sharp because I decrease the number of vertices. So if you want more smooth, add more vertices. Also, what you can do is to use it with objects. For example, let's add a cube. Let's add more vertices, so we can use more points. And now we have a cube doing this animation. Because we're using the X axis in the Z value. Let's try with another object, for example, a Susan. And let's go here. Bring this here, connect this, and connect it here. And I'm going to hide the original object. So you can see how this works. Remember that always will depend of the number of vertices that the object have. So if you want to make this smoother, you need to add more subdivisions. But you get the idea how to use the sign node with different objects. So that's all for today. If you liked this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can download this project and many more in my Patreon. And see you in the next video.